Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lefters. And it finally came. I ordered something off a limited run and this is my first time ever ordering out something off a limited run. And when it was first announced, I was ecstatic that this was an actual feature that they actually brought forward. And I was so excited when I saw this, I had to grab the collector's edition. And that is Shenmue 3. As you can still see, it's in its original packaging and they did a fantastic job packaging this. It was in a box, no bigger than this and it sat perfectly, no swinging around, no moving around. And I'm gonna do an unboxing on it today. As you can clearly see, it's still sealed and I haven't really taken the time to open this up. So, get the trusty knife and razor blade going. Let's see what we got going over here. It comes with a limited edition card, which is pretty cool. It's 548, limited run. Like I said, this is my first ever limited run game. And I'm like, I'm really, really proud. I'm really happy the, the way this condition is. It's, it's unbelievable how nice this really looks. Amazing lithograph. I don't know if they're the one that does the, any of the packaging but this is unreal. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. When I saw this on Limited Run's website, it was something that Adam Korlick tweeted out, you know, get your limited supplies while they're still out there. And as soon as I saw what it was and the quality it, it looked, it was un unbelievable. It was. I saw it and I knew I had to have it simply because of one thing. And once I saw it inside there, I knew I had to have it. So let's lay this bad boy down. It slides out like so. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's flip this around. sure that that flap doesn't open up so right off the bat you get Shenmue 3 a copy of it it's not the steel book or anything like that it's just a regular copy underneath that so if you get this open without damaging it be sure to look under the black Interior tray for your collector's edition Dreamcast case. Ooh, that's what I was really looking forward to getting. So let's move this out of the way. You get some iron-on or some sew-off stuff, uh, like little patches and all that. It's pretty cool. You get the Phoenix and Dragon Mirror. This is actually pretty good, pretty hefty too. Not made of metal, it's more like wood or plastic, probably plastic, but it looks really nice. You get some limited edition stickers and uh, a few other things on there, which is really nice. This was another cool feature. Once I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I'm not sure if there's any batteries in there, but this is a shadow box, no batteries. I'll probably do a little bit of this showcasing it with uh, with the lights on, the warranty card for the light. And under here is what I really wanted, this bad boy right here, just to go along with my other Dreamcast Shenmue games. Once I saw this right off the bat, that's pretty much it, I believe. Once I saw this, in the collection, I knew I had to have it. I'm gonna crack this open. Obviously, there's no disc in here. There's nothing inside. It's just for aesthetic purposes. But once I saw it, I knew I had to have it just to put it on the shelf and to go along with my Shenmue and Shenmue 2 aftermarket box. And 
and it looks unreal. I'm absolutely in love with this, wow. So this unboxing is a success. I am unbelievably amazed by the quality of stuff that's in this package. Would I buy from Limited Run again? Most likely. If they keep putting on Sega IPs, I will most likely continue buying something like this just because this looks unbelievable. I'm so happy to have this into my collection. Can't wait to start this up when I do get an opportunity to. Their build quality is second to none and I'm really, really happy with the way that this came out.